Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hello Libras, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as a cross watcher. Um, this is your bonus round of readings where we are using the past life oracle decks in the beginning. And then of course we're going to be tapping into the current energies in this life. But I have done all 12 zodiac signs for June. I've also done um, the 12 zodiac signs. Just this past one was the zodiac intimate readings. Uh, where the extendeds were intimate so this is just a new round i mean like why not right we just keep it going so if you haven't watched all of those old videos go catch up wow libra you have knighthood oh when the saints go marching in someone else just had this was that scorpio <sighs> very 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 knights templar it's very very brotherhood it's very medieval war honor these are all the words i'm seeing battle hiding see how they're like you know in their suit of armor this person's there's something about hiding and not out of fear or being a coward. It's almost like this anonymous thing here that is somehow connected to this energy. This could be an air sign, right? Because that's a sword. That's air. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And there's a sense of... It carries through somehow in this life. The war, the battles... Well, Atlantis, of course. I mean, of course you would be connected to Atlantis. So past lives here connected to <sighs> medieval. And then Atlantis. The Atlantis vibe here feels like godly someone here sat on a throne gives off the the kind of vibes of like poseidon you know very neptunian energy there's that whole you know with the god mercury's in retro i just i like, cannot even communicate thoughts and such um you know what I'm talking about there. It'll come to me. There's a strong sense here of, you see how I can't find my words? Never accidents when we channel, yeah? I mean, does this person look like they would speak a lot? They don't. There's something about that energy of when they have this suit of armor on, there's no words. They're speechless. Obviously, when they take it off, they're a whole other person. But there's something here about that. Not finding the words, not having words, not speaking. Medicine man or woman. Someone here may be very connected to homeopathic type of healing in past lives. There's a strong sense here of Native American energy here as well, whether that's this life or past life. Something here about dreams too, because you see how that's a dream catcher? Someone here might suffer quite often from dreams or nightmares, and they could be directly related to PTSD. So they would be having dreams or nightmares of something that's not very pleasant. Might even be PTSD from a past life, so it doesn't make sense to you in this life. Like, why the fuck am I dreaming about this weird shit? It's connected. Change. There's huge change in someone's life, okay? This would mean career change. Moving. I'm hearing someone wants change of scenery. 
Someone wants change of scenery. Someone could be buying a house somewhere or moving somewhere. They want change of scenery. Could be someplace tropical. They may feel this weird feeling of why do I want to move somewhere or, or buy a house somewhere tropical? Remember Atlantis energy. Thief. Someone may have taken something from someone. This person's always subject to They're always subject to people wanting from them, taking from them, taking advantage of them. Yeah, see, unexpected income. People are always wanting a handout from this person. This person might be affluent. They may have a lot of money. They may be very successful. They may be the wealthy man, but, but people here take advantage of this. They always want a handout from this person. They always expect from this person. Ten of Wands, and there's the Emperor, big dick energy. So the Emperor does carry this heavy weight here. Okay, Emperor can be Aries, but this is just a, an energy of someone who is very stoic. They're war ready, talking about the war and struggles and battles. And this is also someone here who is very aggressive when it comes to business. They could be a business owner, they could be a boss, they could be a father figure. So someone here had to carry the weight of everything on their shoulders. Maybe they, they had to be the breadwinner. Maybe this person here made it big and they were the only person in their family to make it big. So everything relied on them. Because there's this like backbreaking sort of burden this person carries and it's all on their shoulders. See, money, 10 of pentacles. This person did. It's some kind of wealthy man. Big dick energy. Oh, see, and there's the feminine. She's also standing her own, being independent, very financially stable. It's like attracts like. That's what this is. You have here the four swords. Someone here may be doing more meditation. Someone here may have learned about meditation. Someone here is saying, I need a break. I need to retreat. I need to take a vacation. Someone here is taking time. This is all affluent and energy. This is someone who doesn't expect a handout. This is why this is refreshing to him. He's used to people dropping hints. Want to buy a house? You want to give me money? I really want this. I can't afford this. Blah, 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 blah. And then it's like taxing on them. Or the roles are reversed, whether that's the divine feminine or the feminine energy and, and what have you. Put it where it belongs, okay? It's fluid. Um, this nine of pentacles energy, she doesn't ask for anything. It's meeting your match. It's meeting someone where they may all ask her and depend on her. But it's someone that's different, it's refreshing because they just don't ask anything of them. They don't expect them to take care of themselves. They don't ask for anything. It's like this emperor's in awe. You have here the eight of wands, communication, as well as the eight of swords, overthinking communication. Oh, someone here is gonna overthink their, their words. That's why there was no speaking earlier. Remember I was having a hard time placing my words. Sure, Mercury's in retro, but also this person is like, they, they, they have to find the right words and they don't know what to say. They get tongue-tied. Three of Wands. There's reflection here. Someone is gonna be reflecting on how far they've come. There's also this moment of pause. So you have two cards here of pausing or retreating The chariot, Cancerian energy, but this is forward progress, honey. This is coming in hot. And look at what's coming in hot. The Ace of Cups, fucking true love. The Holy Grail of love. My cup runneth over love. It's so refreshing for this emperor to feel like, wow, this is the first person ever that doesn't want anything from me. And because of that, he wants to give them everything because they don't ask for anything. They don't want anything. This is like the power couple. This is power couples coming together. These two people have that in common, that night energy, because they've always had to fight. They also have in common Atlantis. These two people have definitely had past lives in Atlantis. 
the world. The, there's distance here, but there's also a lot of travel. World is also wrapping it up, right? Completion of a huge thing. Someone here ends something. It might be a relationship. But again, you had change earlier, so it could be a job. It could be moving. There's a lot of travel involved here, though. Someone travels, either for work, or they just like to travel a lot. Uh, King of Wands, Kang Dang Lang, bitch. Ready to make their move. Reminds me of like a King Cobra. <laughs> They're just waiting to make their move. They're strategic. They're very smart, very calculated, right? They're basically God of War. They're waiting for the right moment to strike. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting to pick their shot. So for those of you that feel this energy and it hasn't come in yet, rest assured, honey, yet. Six of Wands, victory. This person's very victorious. Whatever this is, whatever war or battle these two have fought they're very victorious in it they're the victor they are the winner they have overcome it's the king of fucking cups guess what is the one thing they have not overcome their feelings came out in reverse this person has had issues with feelings and then they meet someone and they feel everything right and then they meet someone and they go my cup runneth over and it's different and it's refreshing and it it takes this it, it makes them feel appreciated because this is not someone that only wants them for what they have to offer this is someone who just loves them and it's almost this energy of like of course i love you i've always loved you in every lifetime even the ones from back in atlantis even the ones from the medieval times of course i love you i always have Remember the times when we had nothing? Remember the times when we were struggling? When we had to keep each other warm because we had nothing? Remember those past lives? Communicate clearly. That's what they're going to have issues with. They're going to be uh, stuttering Stanley. They're going to be like tongue-tied. Something about that. They're going to be tongue-tied. See that Atlantean dolphins there again? Remember in your Atlantis? Look at the dolphins. That's going to be really fucking relevant. You also had helpful people. There might be people that bring these two together. Earth angels, if you will. They're going to bring them together. All right, we're going to get into your extended, which I'm excited to do. Click on that upside down triangle below. It'll bring up the whole... Uh, I can't even talk. Fucking Mercury. It'll bring up the description page where all of my info is there. That very first link is going to take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And this is going to be in the Past Life Oracle Zodiac Extended. Um, also in that link below is my Patreon link. If you want to follow me there, I do erotic tarot readings and bonus ones there as well. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is below. You email me. It's the only way to book one. No, I don't do no DMs. Th those are frauds. Those are scammers. Saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com. And then I invoice you via PayPal. All of the info is below what I offer, the pricing. So when you email me, please don't just say I want a reading. Please put which one. The $200 emergency one. I'd like the $160 one. That helps me because I receive so many emails. It's just, it's too much to go back and forth, okay? Um, anyways, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I'll see you in your extended. Love you.